This my this my house right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, okay, you look like you've. What what did you experience when the storm hit? Well, I was cooking, and um, next thing you know, we heard a. Woo-hoo. So my brother said, "Yo, get down, get down, get down, get down." So as we got down, glass was coming up like it was shooting a uh, AK-47. You know what I'm saying? But we're glad to be uh, alive. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Glad to be alive. Well, you you go attend to. Uh, to your home, did you witness these cars get? That's my mama car right there. That is your mother's That's car. That's my mama car, and um, as you can look over here. Are these power lines? Yeah, you good. Okay. As you can look over here, this my that's my sister car. Oh my gosh! Okay. That's my brother truck. That's my. Every one of them is damaged. Yeah, every 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 vehicle is damaged over here. Even my vehicle on the other side is damaged. So did you see the tornado uh, coming through, or was, were you like taking say, shelter? Like I say, I was in inside cooking. Yeah. And after it hit out, my cousin church blew the roof off my cousin church. Yes. It came, it had to be like 10, 15 minutes. It flipped back around and it came and damaged it, you know, did its damage, you know, it did what it did. Can you even begin to process? Uh, no, I what can't t- process this. Here. No. I can't process, you know well, what I mean? You know, I'm going to be here trying to get it on um, bike right. Can you tell me about what, what was, what were you were doing, what was happening, what you heard? So I just gotten home from work. I work for Teleperformance. I just want to say Teleperformance has been amazing to me because they're all reaching out to me. I was about to walk onto that back porch, and my husband pulled me out and said, there's a tornado coming, and we threw, he threw me on the couch, and it, it just came. But the only thing I saw was, like, like, just white, just white all around us, and just you could feel, like, the suction of the, of the tornado. Yeah, I really and scared. When you came out, did you... What did you first witness? Did you witness some of the damage, some of the concrete and the styrofoam that we're seeing around us That's here? That's what I see. I cannot believe the concrete and all the, the, the gutters and the concrete all over the place. It's, look at the, the house. The roof of the house is gone. It's over there. That's a good point. I don't know if Ed can get a shot of the uh, the houses over there, but some of the roofs have been damaged over there as well. You can see the uh, the fences are, uh, are, are are damaged. People are just getting to work the here. Fence, They're brand new fans right there. Brand new fans. Like a couple months. Yeah. And it's gone. This is your brother's house? Uh, yeah, uh, he, he's uh, renting that out, but it, it belongs to him. Okay. All, all of this and relatives, we're mm-hmm. all relatives on here. And to see all this, it don't think it can't happen to you. Mm-hmm. You know, it sounded like just a little rough wind coming through. Then after a while, it sounded like a, a freight train. That's what a lot of people say. Yeah, yep. it really did. And then the next thing, well, my son said, get up, let's get up. And we got inside. And next thing we heard all this rumbling. It took 10, 10 uh, uh, roof off the, uh, that was on the house, all the way from this street, all the way over on my lot there. To the car. It looked like somebody took that tin and just sat it down with a, you know, like when you're trying to nail tin together. Yeah. They look, they picked up everything and nailed. Everything there. just looks like a like a toy. Yeah. Uh, these heavy objects just whipped around. That's right. Yeah. Like a play toy. Kids, well, you guys out there playing around. It's unbelievable. And you the know, street you can see right over there, Ed, is completely blocked by all trees. That trees. What? You what? can't get by. Yeah. That's all trees. This will never be the same. In that church, the whole roof is off that church. And the saddest thing about it, and I can't get to it, I have a, a niece and nephew who house. It looked like a somebody dropped a bomb on the house. It's completely like it, it was in the line of a war zone. What did you experience? I know you live a couple of roads over, but there's there are some houses on this street that are just completely decimated. decimated. What, what did you hear? What did you experience? A lot of rain and, and loud winds and just basically you go into almost panic mode and you look for the safest place in your house and just hope that your house doesn't get destroyed within a matter of seconds because we were getting alerts on our phones yeah. every five minutes to yeah. seek shelter. And yeah. and of course, the young ones, they always have phones on them. Uh, how scary of an experience was that for you guys? I mean, you see what this has done to well, your neighborhood. Me and my dad were driving in the front of the neighborhood. We saw the tornado go by. So You was, saw the tornado? Yeah, it was kind of scary. Have you ever seen a tornado before? No, sir. How, how big was it? Did you see the destruction or did you just yeah, look at it and run the other way? There's some, there some roofs and trees and all yeah. that. Um, about 5 o'clock or maybe 4.45 yesterday, we had a tornado warning. And I got my kids, my husband and my dogs, and we went in our safe room. We actually had a friend over, which was maybe not the smartest thing to do, and went into our safe room, didn't hear a thing, but then we lost power, had no internet. 
So I went outside and I started seeing all these ambulances go by my house. I don't even live in this neighborhood, but since we lost power, we thought it'd be smart to come over here. And then we saw all the cop cars through the, right through this area because they live on the street. Last night, it was so scary. I felt like I was in an airplane with all the wind. It, it almost shook the house. So you didn't, I didn't get much sleep last night. We thought we heard a train. It wasn't the train. The power went out. We walked outside and we saw the most ominous clouds. And then we saw the circular, um, you know, motion going. Debris started flying and it started coming at us pretty quick. So we all just kind of hunkered in and um, watched it go over and then tried to assess the situation, you know, right afterwards. We heard a second one come through, so we went back in. We didn't see it. I guess it was, uh, you know, a little further up. A uh, tornado just uh, ripped through the complex here, uh, damaged probably most of the, the businesses here. As you can see, the car is flipped over on its side there. Um, so we're just kind of assessing the damage and uh, securing the area to make sure there's no looting. Regular Wednesday, you were out hanging out with neighbors. You came home 30 minutes later. What happened? Uh, we were by the front window here and um, just hanging out watching the storm. We've got hurricane windows, weren't too worried about it. And uh, it sounded like a train was coming and things were swirling around and I just, it kind of hit me like this is a tornado. I had no idea. I'd never seen one before. It ripped through, stuff was sitting in the house. We lost a tree. I grabbed the kids, you know, laid on the living room or the kitchen floor, called for everybody to get, to get down, get down. And I mean, it's just, I've never seen anything quite like this. The entire house is destroyed. I don't know about the status of my stuff. There are people with no roof. Um, obviously, nobody has power in here. But down Major Way and uh, the main road here, th there's debris everywhere. There's, I don't even know if it's sheds or roof material, but there's there's ca catastrophic damage on multiple streets. I saw the, the one tornado come through this way, and I know there's another one on um, Major Way. So, Actually, it was around 10 after 5. And I was looking out my back window because, you know, we were warned that a uh, tornado might be on the way. And I could actually see it coming from my, my bedroom window. And it was honestly, it was like watching the movie Twister. It came closer and it was spinning and the debris was flying everywhere, landing in the lake behind our house. And I was literally screamed out to my wife, get in the closet, get the dog. And I met her in there, and then we could, and we heard it come over the house. But it sort of veered a little because we didn't get that much damage. Whereas my neighbors, some of my neighbors weren't as fortunate, and they really a lot of devastation. Uh, we have this iconic, almost picture um, for the the worst reasons ever. But um, it is circulating of a dumpster on top of roof, and you actually know the people that live there. Tell us a little backstory well, on that. Actually, the, I, 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 they just moved in six days ago wow. their their house is devastated and to see a several ton construction dumpster on top of their roof stuck into their house it's just something out of a a, a, a nightmare disney movie you, yeah. you you know you can't believe what you're seeing uh, we had a tornado hit us and it just sucked everything and threw everything all over the place now, what did this backyard look like? Because we see piles of everything. We see the fences down. What what was back here? How much did you lose? Uh, we lost our shed and everything that was in the shed, our fence, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't know all, everything that's gone yet. It's, like you said, almost something out of a horror movie. Demonic like. Um, like you said before, out of a horror movie, it's something that, nothing less. You know, we don't prepare for anything like this. This never happened in the acreage or in Loxahatchee or in West Palm, Royal Palm, anywhere yet in Palm Beach County, this doesn't really happen. So for, you know, you just sit outside your door and you see it coming towards you, you can't do nothing about it. You know, all you can do is just, you know, prepare for the worst and pray for the best. It's gonna be overwhelming for some of these people. A street over, there's a trailer home in the middle of the road. Um, there's lines out, there's paper everywhere. There's an unopened box right here as well. So um, just be patient, you know, take a breath. We're going to get through this.